to my channel my name is Alex and today we have a really exciting video however before I start with the video please don't forget to follow me on my social media that I want to show you right here and also if you like this video please don't forget to give a big thumbs up share it and subscribe so today in my series or let's talk about mental health where we discuss different kind of mental health illnesses so we can spread more awareness and people know a little bit more about different kind of mental health challenges and this way they can help others as well we're gonna be talking about obsessive compulsive disorder or OCD obsessive compulsive disorder is a common chronic and long-lasting disorder or mental health illness in which a person has uncontrollable recurring thoughts or obsessions or recurring behaviors such as compulsions some people can have both of them obsessions and compulsions others just have one so the misconception that a lot of people has with obsessive compulsive disorder I'm just gonna say OCD because it's such a long one So the misconception that people has with OCD is that it's literally just like Oh, biting your nails, oh, I have OCD However, you know and after you get diagnosed of course But the reason why you can know if you have OCD Is because all these behaviors or thoughts that, that you feel the urge to repeat over and over Are affecting with your daily life once you see that these symptoms are affecting with your daily activities and how you live your life is when you need to go to the doctor to be treated for OCD. So let's learn why you get OCD or yeah, why it happens. And although the researchers haven't found an exactly reason why you get it, it's important to know that OCD affects everybody, adults, teenagers, and children. Most people are diagnosed around 19 years old. It can be also that Oh man, I messed up my nail. Oopsie. It can be also diagnosed early or boys and girls, but you can be diagnosed up to 35 years old. So here are some of the risk factors that can make you have OCD. And the first one is genetics, of course. And a lot of studies have proved that people with first degree relatives, such as parents, siblings, or your kids that have OCD are on a higher risk to develop OCD themselves. However, these studies are still ongoing and people is still trying to find if this happens also in other levels on your genetics such as grandparents or great-grandparents but for now first degree family members can be a big risk factor the second risk factor can be brain structure or functioning where studies have shown differences in the frontal cortex of subcortinal structures in the brain in patients with OCD this appears to be a connection between OCD symptoms and abnormalities in certain areas of the brain but the connection is still not clear and the third risk factor that studies have shown is the environment a lot of people with OCD come from post-traumatic disorder as well or have experienced any kind of abuse or trauma but it's still a lot of research to be made to have this connection so which ones can be some of the symptoms of OCD like I said before, there's two different types of OCD, such as obsessions and compulsions. Obsessions are repeatedly thoughts and mental images on your brain that causes anxiety. For example, you can have fear of germs or contamination. Also, you can have unwanted, forbidden, or taboo thoughts involving sex, religion, or harm. Another symptom can be aggression towards others or yourself or wanted to have things under symmetrical perfect order and this is one of the most common symptoms that a lot of people think that they have OCD just because they want to be organized however remember this is only if it affects your daily life and some of the symptoms of compulsion that these are repetitive behaviors that a person with OCD feels the urge to do in response to an obsessive thought so one of the things that a person with compulsions can do is obsessive in cleaning and organizing ordering or arranging things in a precisely way that they want it to be checking on things more than once for example checking multiple times if the door is locked or if you turn off the stove and compulsive counting so there's a lot of misconception with OCD because you know a lot of people like to be organized a lot of people like to clean a lot of people like to check the doors however it's important to know that people with obsessive compulsive disorder cannot control these thoughts and these behaviors even when they recognize that these behaviors are excessive and that they're doing more than what they should they can't control it many times they spend at least more than one hour a day 
thinking or doing any of these behaviors, they don't feel pleasure from doing these activities. It's not like they enjoy checking a hundred times how the door is, but it relieves their anxiety and it relieves their fears. However, this is not something that they enjoy. There are also many people with OCD that can start having tics on their body, such as eye blinking or moving some part of your face or some part of your, of your hand, for example. In my case, I don't have OCD, but when I get really anxious, my fingers, like I start to like move my fingers and like I can tell something is happening when, when my fingers go like crazy. These symptoms can go and come and for some people can be stronger than for others, but here are some of the treatments that you can have in case you are diagnosed with OCD. The first treatment is medication. If you have watched my other videos, you know that I'm really serious with medication. I don't like to just tell you, take this one, take that one, because I feel like you should go to a doctor for that. However, if after you have started taking the medication that the doctor is gonna give you, and if the symptoms do not improve with these types of medications, researches show that some patients may respond well to an antipsychotic medication. All the researches show that an antipsychotic medication might help manage symptoms for people who have both OCD and tick disorder. The research on the effectiveness of antipsychotics to treat OCD is still mixed. So please be sure that you go to a doctor and don't self-medicate whatever you find in the internet. The second treatment is psychotherapy. And psychotherapy can be effective treatment for adults and children with OCD. Researches show that certain types of psychotherapy, including cognitive behavior therapy and other related therapies, can be as effective as medication for many individuals. As with most mental health disorders, treatment is usually personalized and might begin with either medication or psychotherapy or with a combination of both. So in case you feel that after all I say you might present some of these symptoms, please go to a doctor and get diagnosed properly by a professional and maybe you can start a treatment and this is gonna help you to make these symptoms less hard for your daily life and affect you less and hopefully you can live your daily life normally even while having OCD. Alright guys, that was everything I have to say for today's video. In case you want to know more about OCD, please go to the description box where I link all the sources where I got all my information for my videos. And also, don't forget, I have a playlist where all my mental health related videos about different kind of mental health illnesses are there in case you want to learn about one in a specific in specific in case you want to learn about one in the specific or if there's one that I haven't mentioned in my videos you can comment down below and I would love to do a little bit of research and talk about it so if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give a big thumbs up share it and subscribe that will help me a lot Facebook is not helping me YouTube not helping me so please 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 if you can help me with a like and share and subscribe and all of that and also you can follow me on my social media that i'm gonna show you right here i hope you have a great day or night and i can't wait to see you in the next video bye